Carlos a Bogotá por su seguridad y en atención a las regulaciones. You know the strange feeling when you feel completely out of your element, when you try to push so hard to get back into the familiar, to your comfort zone. From the moment I arrived at the airport in Bogota, I started noticing the language barrier. The media has succeeded in making me mildly nervous before traveling to Colombia. And to be honest, I was a bit skeptical about traveling there, especially that I don't speak Spanish. I had a little issue with the car rental. Um, um, apparently here, um, the cars could go based of even and odds numbers. So. Uh, in one day it could be an even number for the license plate and the, um, the, the odd numbers cannot um, drive. I wanted to take this road journey into Colombia to immerse myself into the culture and to experience the thrilling feeling of driving to the unknown, which was quite an experience. So I decided to make a series of videos about my month-long journey driving through this magnificent country, Colombia. Just arrived here to this beautiful town. Welcome to Villa de Leva. Colombia, el profesor de la independencia. This guy is the man who made it happen. Hey! Come on. Just finished eating at this um, um, happy monkey, and tell you I'm not happy. The food was not as I expected, but it's just the food. I mean, hey, sometimes you get lucky with food, sometimes you don't, and this is one of the times where the food was not good. So don't come here and eat because. Happy monkey made this monkey very unhappy.
chocolate place. Guess that's where how you make the chocolate. Um, very nice. Monsieur Dill Chocolate. Look at that. That's amazing. 